Well, Zach, who uh, was just there at the Institute in August, says that I've heard you mention several times that you personally take enzymes for anti-aging and not really for digestion per se. Are these enzymes the digestive enzymes, the systemic enzymes, or a combination of the two? Well, first I'll say uh, out of the box that it's the digestive enzymes, but i better explain it. Uh, most people who would be consuming digestive enzymes, which have protein, carbohydrate, and fat digesting uh, proteins in them, literally take it to help the food become more nutritious in their body by the fact that it breaks it down and the cell can now absorb it much easier. So that's really why most of the listeners out there would ever consider taking it. What we found over the years, though, is that these proteins, these enzymes, are literally the way that biofrequency is brought into the human body. Life force is brought into the human body. And we visibly have observed hundreds and hundreds of times where as you take the enzymes, we see an instantaneous almost increase of electromagnetic frequency in and around the cell. Now let's go back and give you this free radical understanding that actually started in 1952 with Dr. Harmon, who was out at the University of Nebraska. And he was a guy who said, hey, listen, uh, when you do bad things, you don't just get sick from it directly. When you do bad things, you kill healthy cells. And what comes out of the cell is the electric, uh, the electrolyte factors. And that electric now becomes uh, crazed, practically, and goes around and tries to kill healthy cells. So go back again. Now, if the enzymes are increasing the electromagnetic frequency in and around the cell, and a free radical is what causes all premature aging and disease, how about when the free radical comes to kill the healthy cell, you have a major electrical shield around it, like an electric fence. Well, the free radical is not too happy about that, and voila, doesn't kill the cell. So that's why one would consider taking it for an anti-aging factor. Okay, thank you. 